I'm not going to waste any time. You know what time it is. This is the March Mail MTB Elite. So this is my mail order March subscription box from Mystery Tackle Box. Let's crack into it and see what goodies we have inside. So uh, this is going to be a, a fair bit quicker video. Uh, I got a lot to record and very little time to do it in. So without any hesitation, typical MTB style. We've got our ca a little measuring tape, the uh, you know online um, contests you can catch and win. We've got our what's in the box card. Um, the follow us on Instagram, f uh, Twitter, Facebook, etc. There's our list for today. That's a pretty substantial list. I like these because you get two, four, six, eight, ten, ten items, ten items. I can't say baits because there's always terminal tackle in these things too. But that's also a good thing because it allows you the hooks and weights and bobbers and everything you need to go out. You can just grab this box on your, you know, from your mail uh, mailbox, go out on the lake or whatever the next day, and uh, you got everything you need. What do we have? All right, a new Dibble Digest. This is not where fishermen poop. This is <laughs> how to tie a Palomar knot, which I'm very proficient in. Um, we've got a new Dibble Digest. This one is six tips for for fishing in tough conditions. Three, ver uh, three vertical jigging tips, and uh, the morning routine on how to get out of bed and get your uh, <laughs> get your fish on. Very comical, very comical. I like that. So let's just we'll just run this real quick past the screen. You can stop it at any time and read those funny, funny little anecdotes from the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Carl Van Dibble. Uh, floss with 15 to 30 pound braid. Uh, it's a little rough. It's a little coarse for me. I think uh, I think my flossing is going to be uh, definitely on the 15 pound side. Let's start off. First item, first bait in the box for March 2021. Lucky John's flat crank. Definitely a great bait for. Let's see if I can find it. Lucky John's flat crank. Lucky John. There we go. So we have a 2.4, uh, dives five to nine feet, weighs four tenths of, a, of an ounce. And this by far is my winter going into summer crank of choice is a flat side. Um, muted tone ro uh, rattles, not very vibrant rattling. It's got a, a very, you know, modest bill. It's not a huge deep diver. It's not a big Plano deep diver. And it's certainly not a computer chip square, uh, square bill. Um, so it's a flat-sided 60 DRF. The color they've got on this one is, uh, well, I'll refer you up there. It's going to be golden craw. It's kind of, kind of golden and kind of craw. <laughs> they don't list a color. They just say Lucky John's 01406 FDR. I'm going to say it's like, you know, fire craw um, for the color. But uh, there you go. Not bad. They list this retail on their store at $6.99. Next, we've got another good company, Savage Gear. So we got the Savage Gear 3D Back Lip Diver. Savage, there's two things in here. Though. Savage Gear. Oh, Savage Gear. Back Lip Herring 100 in a 3D pattern. So we've got ourselves a little jerk bait, uh, fluke style, soft plastic. Flukes are excellent this time of year also. So, oh, they stapled it. Let's pop this open here. So let's see, soft plastic. Oh, okay, it's not soft plastic. Damn, their paint God, sticky hooks. Paint schemes are awesome from Savage Gear, I'm sorry. This is something different. I've never seen this before. 
So we got a folding back lip lawn cast design. So you've got, it's a hard plastic. I thought it was a soft plastic like a jerk bait because it's the sheen that comes off of it in the glare, obviously. So you got a hard plastic jerk bait with this plastic paddle that'll fold out. I wonder what that action is imparted by that. That's interesting. I'm gonna assume because it is actually beveled to one side. I hope that's designed to be slightly canted to one side and it's not just a, a mismold in the uh, production, but maybe this gives it this, this backward gyration in the rear, uh, adding more of the whipping action, so a far more um, super sharp sticky hooks. It also have, has a great little blade on the back for added flash off that tail treble. I will say one of the things that I always do, and you'll see, uh, I'm gonna record another video coming up short, shortly after this one, and I'll post that uh, subsequent following this, this video post, but uh, I always love trebles uh, on jerk baits, even on crank baits, with those little, um, the tiny little willow leaves added on for flash. I think it adds a little bit more attraction and craze to the bass uh, to, to strike back there and not miss the hook. Um, that said, that is absolutely unique. Absolutely unique. I'm very much interested in seeing what this Savage Gear Gear's bait action is. Back lip herring. We don't have herring. Herring has always been a saltwater um, bait for me. Always. Herring was always a saltwater bait, bait fish. So I, I've never tried to fish with anything with a herring pattern in freshwater. Um, that said, it's not going to stop me from attempting with this one. Now i got to get this thing back in here without stabbing every part of my body. Ay, 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 ay. That hurt. <laughs> super, super sharp hooks. Savage Gear Excellent job on the hooks, FYI. Sometimes it's a little bit too excellent a job. All right, we're back. We're back. So I stabbed my finger three times and I got stuck in my jeans. But we're okay. <laughs> Keep it real, right? Um, Guggen Squad's banger. So we got another Guggen Squad bait. All right. So this is the banger should be the crank bait. Yes. So we got a square bill Guggen Squad banger crank bait. Uh, this one is in sexy shad. If, if I have the same color tone this is going to go in that giveaway so we're just going to keep building this box building this box building this box if i'm if i'm lucky by the uh by july when i go to start uh, explaining the giveaway and everything that's going to be included i might have to go buy a bigger cardboard box to put all this in in order to ship it to whoever the lucky winner happens to be that's kind of one of my goals start out with a big box and then say nope gotta get a bigger box gotta get a bigger box <laughs> The Guggen's Banger, uh, they want $7.99 for this. By the way, the Savage Gear uh, Backlip Diver, that also was $9.99. And it's a sinking, rolling, uh, four inch. They don't have a diving depth on the package for the Savage Gear, I'm sorry. So I just want to recap that real quick. Obviously the Guggen Banger is a square bill and uh, this one uh, dives to two to five foot. $7.99 for that. Next. Uh, Kalen's Googly Eye Swim Jigs. We got some more this time. It's the Green Pumpkin again. We've had the Green Pumpkin, and then we've also had the, um, the Pumpkin Seed, or the, the brown color. Um, again, it's got that glass eye. And I refer you to some of my other videos when I uh, de delve deeper into these. I do like them. They have their place, certainly. Uh, this is also a good time of year for those as well. Although I'd wait for more summer because it doesn't part a fair bit more action on your bait compared to your shaky head, uh, which is, I think, more applicable for this period of time where the water's still in that mid-upper 40s, early 50s range because you want to be a little bit less abrasive um, on tantalizing those fish. They want a lethargic bait presentation because natural, fo natural foliage, natural baits, natural, um, uh, you know, their, 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 their dinner would be kind of muted right now. It wouldn't be very aggressive at the moment. Uh, the googly eye, seven ninety nine. dollars 10,000 fish, catch codes. 10,000 fish, Sikoshi bug. All right, we have these too. This is in that blue claw pattern. I think I have blue claw as well. I have, I think, a, a couple of valuable pack packages of this. Again, if, if I don't have this color, I'll throw that into the giveaway as well. If I do have this color and I have multiples of another, I'll try to see if I can't throw a Sakoshi into that giveaway. We will see. 
I've actually lost track of what I've put in there already, so I may have already had some of these Sakoshis in that in that giveaway. Next, the other Savage Gear that I saw earlier, Savage Gear's 4D Crawls. These are epic. So it's based, again, on a uh, an optical scan of a true living crawfish. Uh, the, oh, the Sakoshi Bugs 529, this is $4.99. It's a three inch uh, soft plastic craw. They are awesome, awesome on those Dudley stand up shaky head trailers, hooks. They do smell like all get out, but they are very much a true to form analog, even down to the, the uh, little feelers, the antennae having the ribs within the antennae plastic. Uh, the claws are accurate. They even have the individual, you can see it right there on that front one, the individual toes on the front claw pinchers. I'll try to separate this one out. It's kind of hard to do. Come on, baby. There you go. So they literally even forked, as you can see right there, they even fork that front pincher just ever so slightly. So it is an absolute identical um, image to what the real, the real animal would look like. Again, um, Savage Gear, I can't stress enough how, how awesome their ability to recreate and replicate uh, different baits happens to be. So that's the 499 Savage Gear 4D Crawl. Four more baits to go. Lucky John's 3D Makora Shad trailer. So Lucky John, there should be another Lucky John in here. That's a net bait. Lucky John, Makura, shad trailer. Four inch in a shad trailer. Um, real action, designed in Japan. Hence the Makura name. Uh, this is again another collaboration, Lucky John Catch Co. So, nice overlaid package to keep them nice and straight. We've had a few baits like this in the past. Um, it's a stout, pretty pretty durable stout plastic. It's not super stretchy, but it is pretty uh, pretty sturdy, I would say. It has a little line through hole in there. I wonder what that's for. There's a, there's a little tunnel bore through the. Is that just that one? Yeah, they all have little tunnels bored through the uh, through the tail end of the bait. I wonder if they list what that's for. Jig head drop shot Carolina rig. I wonder what that little, if you can make it out, you'll see there's a, a funny discoloration that runs right down. And right there at the base, there's a tiny little tear out. And actually inside the base, starting from here in the bait to the end, there's almost like they ran a drill bit through. It's got a little uh, tornado tunnel. And it's on all of these. So I wonder if that's a manufacturing process. If it's just in there to do something a little different than another bait company that has a similar uh, similar style soft plastic, or if there's something involved in that. It doesn't say anything on the package as to what the, the value of that characteristic in this bait is, but that's interesting. That's definitely something, um, like I've mentioned in the past, I do keep a very small needled like flavor injector, and I've been known, especially with my catfishing, to, uh, to take that flavor injector needle and stuff it and, and inject different scents, colorants, flavors into um, some baits, not necessarily soft plastics, into um, you know the softer boilies, because I kind of undercook some of my boilies so they don't get rock hard. I keep them kind of rubbery like a bouncy ball. Uh, but, uh, um, but I've injected flavors um, into, especially my gelatin baits, um, and, and that, that honestly gives me an idea of grinding up some, some red wigglers, some worms, and injecting it into that tunnel. And then when the fish bite on it, they'll get a blast of flavor and possibly give out a scent trail, as well as the old Alka-Seltzer um, trick where you threw Alka-Seltzer into, uh, into your bait, into your worm, like Senko. I used to drill, put a uh, crushed up Alka-Seltzer, pack it in there, and then when I'd flip, I'd have them on the deck I really, everywhere, but uh, as I'd flip, as they'd settle down to the bottom, they'd give off this bubble trail that would attract and entice fish. Very good in a very high pressured area when you want a slow dead stick fish, uh, an area that's highly impacted and highly pressured. That bubble trail adds a lot of, uh, of 
distance between other fishermen and their baits and yours. The Makora from Lucky John are $4.99. Three to go. We got the Catchco's Tightrope Baby Firewalk Super Jig for $4.29 as well. That's right here. So we got a little finesse jig. Uh, again, green pumpkin and blue with a two-odd hook. And this one is a quarter-ounce jig. Awesome, awesome. I'm interested in taking that out onto the water. Uh, oh, I cut off one of my claws. One of my 4D claws. I, lost, I cut the claw off when I put it back in the box. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, too bad. They're not going to notice. Um, next to last for, again, 429, just like the tightrope baby firewalk jig, we have Net Bates Paca Slim. Net Bates Paca Slim is a three and a half inch, ooh, seven pack. That's good. You got yourself a craw, great for Ned rigs, small, awesome for trailers. And I love the, the blue claw tips on the green pumpkin body. And it's also got some blue on the one side and then solid green pumpkin on the back. But that is epic because you got that little blue hue on the very tip. That's definitely going to attract. Oh, again, anything like this, it has blue and green pumpkin, definite throw it on a trailer for something like that little tiny jig. And you've got yourself not only the crawl presentation, but if you're swimming it, you're going to have that flutter, if you, especially if you, if you flip this on the adverse and you run it. Uh, vertically instead of horizontally you can get those flappers to kind of look like like paddles uh, of, the, of the tail fin of the fish and you'll get a bluegill pattern out of that and bluegill is the major forage bluegill and crawl and the major major forage for my bass fishing areas up here in uh, northeast in, in new jersey area uh 429 for that and finally terminal tackle we've got the sheer points performance hooks for a dollar eighty that's these right here. So you got these shear points with that funny little odd bend that they say allows you to uh, to pin the fish better so that once you get it through that bony plate, it's not going to back out. They're not going to be able to throw it as well um, or as easily. So it's a three-aught. You got a two-pack. It would be nice to see a four-pack. And definite keeping this sticker, tank crossing. I'm going to throw that on my fish tank. Definitely. Catch Co's. Always got great stickers. And not to be outdone, um, four ways to retrieve the Firewalker jig. So in here was our card alluding to that miniature jig. Little Firewalker, where did I put you? Ah, there you go. So you got your jig and you've got a little pamphlet explaining the ways to best retrieve it, what its action is designed for, uh, stroking, hopping, and of course dragging it and swimming it. So again, right here, this is the, the beauty of the Catchco uh, brand. You've got yourself instructions on your best ways to fish the bait that they're, that they're providing with you, the bait they're providing, and of course, naturally, a trailer to go with that bait. And if you think about it, not only do they have the jig head with its accompanying trailer, but you have the accompanying trailer with the hooks if you just wanted to straight fish just the trailer. And then of course, if that's not happening and soft plastics aren't getting bit, they'll go back to the old standard. You've got your crankbait and you've got your jerkbait. It, it's, it's just, they give you a fishing trip in a box. So I can't stress as much as I, I don't fanboy um, any particular brand, and I do have a new company coming, should be here in the next few days. Um, it's another on the line of my angler's haul, which I have not received yet. I'm hoping for that to show up in the mail uh, sometime soon. They supposedly have started back up with the angler's haul. I just haven't received my box yet. But I, in, the, in the time preceding that, I ordered from another company. Uh, it's, again, it's a high dollar product, but uh, I just wanted to balance out. I figure if you're going to compare, you need to compare apples to apples. So with the uh, 100 plus dollar anglers haul i got a 100 plus dollar other brand um, and i'm just going to compare them i've already had some influence from this brand which is not great and i'm not apt to recommend them but until i have it in my hands i'm not going to pass judgment based on theories from uh, just other videos and other things that i've seen about it but we'll see if it if it does come to me in the same plane as what i've heard of and seen then it doesn't look like it's going to compare to Angler's Hall, but we'll see. That being said, I appreciate all of you spending this uh, this last 15 minutes or so with me, 
and uh, get out there on the water, uh, take care of each other, get somebody else fishing. If you like these, obviously in my teardown description, you're going to see each bait timestamp. You can uh, get that. You don't have to watch the whole video. But uh, the information on connect, connecting with uh, Shop Carl's and Mystery Tackle Box will be down there in the expanded view of the video. Um, from me to you, tight lines, and as always, hookaholics, I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace. But that's not by speculation. But the position that I got, I climb too high to fall.